So, we just finished the Silver Lining DLC featuring Silver Sable. It was wrapping up the Hammerhead Saga, which includes... That is from the Eric Larson run. Very dope suit. I like it. Which includes Silver Sable coming back as a potential enemy and a friend. And it concludes the Hammerhead Saga, which by far in the stretch of three DLCs from this Black Cat DLC, Turf Wars, and now the Silver Lining. I uh, I gotta say, it was actually a pretty fun but story. Yeah, it concludes the Hammerhead Saga, which spanned across three DLCs. All of them have tell a story from a different perspective. We had the first one, Black Cat. We had the second one, Riri. Now we have this one with Sable, which this one was actually pretty good. Um, It was pretty good, but I have to say the main gripe, the main gripe that I have with this one is that it was short. In comparison against the others and the meat and potatoes of everything that was there, this one was fairly short, and I'm actually very, very disappointed in that. I beat this DLC in the span of less than what? 20 not 20 in the span of less than two hours yeah because between my first stream and the second stream that crash or the first stream that crash that was like 24 25 minutes in and this stream which is about a hour 40 minutes in i'm it, it's very short going straight through i guess that's why that's uh that's why they're trying to pad it out with like hey do this size stuff here do these collectibles here which i'm not saying every dlc needs to be long but between the time of this and turf wars these are some pretty short dlcs black cat came out with the black cat dlc that at least gave us a bit more like it, it was time consuming and lengthy but for the most part this one was uh this one was a bit short story was pretty cool sable comes back to help you fight you guys establish your first year for your enemies and you become friends hammer has doing things to no good i wish however about the story i do wish they emphasize about more of how he came into his transition and transformation yeah, we see him in the suit at first in Turf Wars, but in this one, we see him go from Hammerhead to just straight up Cyborg. And yeah, they do give us backstory and back notes or whatever, but nothing that really says here. Like, here's a bit of explanation. Here's a bit of development for Hammerhead to understand why he became this way or why he wanted to do this or why he just wanted to be in this form. Yeah, it was cool to see him in this robotic form and how he's taking the project like into his own hands and own palm. But I'm kind of disappointed that nothing really came to fruition from that. That they, they, they really didn't flush it out or, or fluently put that together. Yeah, we see him don the suit, but we never know the ulterior motive or the ulterior plans of to really make this his, like his thing yeah he wants to take over the city but what's really the driving force behind this because nobody's just gonna go from a rope like a normal human transition to having a cyborg body and having the steel plate like it didn't make sense like it didn't really become like the fruit of it really didn't like come to light if you really get what I mean so we have the hammerhead boss fight which is fun that was that was completely fun like that was some dope moments there but it felt short it felt like it felt really short like the main gripe that i really have about this dlc that is short you can really beat this game in a span of i say game you can really beat this dlc in a span of like minimum less than two hours hour an hour like if you're going straight for it and you weren't doing like the side stuff like i was planning on doing the minimum at least at least two hours at least an hour and 30 minutes or an hour and 45 well i'll even say an hour and 20 minutes because that's 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 kind of like that's very very borderline how fast you can beat this dlc and for the side activity it's a normal activity really you have screwball which is honestly i love the fact that insomniac is including screwball in these in these dlcs but for the love of God, y'all could have gave us more Taskmaster. Y'all could have switched it up a little bit. Yeah, the seasons are cool, but eh. I was about to have a heart attack. But yeah, like, I understand they want to include Screwball into these DLCs. And I loved her in the main story. But, my God, going from the heist to Turf Wars to, to, to the Silver Lining. Bro, listen. Listen. I enjoyed her in the main game. I got through her challenges in the heist DLC. I didn't get through them in, in Turf Wars because I felt like they were like, okay, that's enough. That's enough of Screwball. And honestly, in the Silver Lining, I I, I know it's a backstory behind it. Like they, they included a mission in it. But at the same time, it's like, 
do I really want to play more of that? Do I really want to do more of these screwball missions? I understand they're finally finishing it off, but my God, screwballs missions are so annoying. Like they aren't even fun. They're annoying. Like annoying to the point where you contemplate whether or not you want to do it. And I'm really contemplating, do I really want to do these? And for the most part, you have the crimes, which are pretty, pretty normal. Okay, cool. They're the crimes. And sadly to say, while they do include another like kingpin base destruction mission, uh, this time is just finding supplies for some Karia to do the humanitarian stuff with, which I wish they could have did something a little bit more different with those. It seems like they really just took the normal safe route for like the side missions and activities. Yeah, they twitch them up each time. Sure. But um they really just seem to switch them up a little bit more and for the suits for the dlc the suits are pretty cool um you have the cyborg suit which is badass you have the aaron aikman armor which i honestly i don't like any of this suit at all this is a pretty ugly suit and then you have the you have the suit from Into the Spider Race, which I haven't unlocked yet. But I gotta say, these new suits are pretty cool. These new suits are definitely cool, and that's something I could really see myself playing in. But as for story, interesting story, great premise. They really kind of dropped the ball a little bit because they they should have gave this a little bit more time, fleshed out a little bit more. I want to see like how he became like what he was and, and everything. Um. It was pretty solid. I had fun. I enjoyed the conversations. This really felt like a DLC where they're really setting more things up rather than just generally, you know, making a DLC, which they probably were like plotting things out for the sequel or whatever, which is cool. But at least give the sequel itself, not to give the DLC itself a little bit more flesh to it while you're strategically plotting things. But if I had to really give this a score, um, and where would I place it in the midst of the, like the three DLCs? Um, I have to say, I, I give this a three out of five. It was the spectacular. It's pretty cool. Nothing amazing. The suits are great. The story is pretty okay. A little bit underwhelming with how they handled Hammerhead in the end. Um, and they sort of fleshed out a little bit more of Sable and Hammerhead's like backstory, but. It was cool for what it was uh three out of five very solid three out of five really that's that's how i'm really feeling about it but um and if i had to rate it okay so here's how i would rate it the heist silver lining turf wars and i put turf wars at the end because yes it has a great transition that we see from yuri but it is quite possibly the least fun out of all of them and I say that because yeah, it starts with drama. Yeah, it gets very, very heavy, but it it is not not fun. And Silver Lining kinda gets better, but it also gets very underwhelming at the same time. So I thank you guys for coming on by. I thank you guys for rocking with me today. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you people. I appreciate. <laughs>